can't make me out here. I'll die fucking like it. There's nothing I miss. Hey guys, it's just me again. And I just wanted to say to the people, um, it's hard being a party girl. It really is. Do you know, as a party girl, people always just assume that you just do like absolute nothing with your like. But being a party girl, I meet so many people and I have so many conversations with people about really important things. And I think, you know, people need to understand that there needs to also be party girls that care about important social issues so that they can just start chatting to people about it. Like, I'm always putting my view across to stupid ass men who think they're rich and they can... They, they just have some kind of idea about life when really they're also the types of people that are maintaining the oppressive systems. You know, it's party girls like me that are key in, you know, hypnotizing and changing the minds of men and individuals, men especially, into understanding that we just need a fair world. And I feel like with the strength of my vagina, and with the strength of my spirit, I'm really gonna achieve amazing things. And all the other pretty party girls that care about important social justice, we are gonna just do amazing things. And all the pretty party boys and everyone, we're just gonna have a fucking great ass time changing the world. Like it does not need to be a sad experience. It doesn't need to be filled with legislation and boring ass shit all the time. Sometimes it just needs to be filled with conversation and understanding of different people. And how do we get people to really, like how, where do you find people of just all kinds of classes, races, ethnicities, sexualities? You find them at the party so party girls are so important you need to protect the party girl girls and boys and i hate the fact that people always say oh if women are you know they're naked all the time or they just like to go out and da 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 da, da. they're not that they're not a good woman oh fuck off i'm a socialite i'm a party ass girl i'm here to make friends with people and change people's views like girl but let the party girls live honestly i'm a super party girl like and i've just been partying even in my pornos i've been partying and having so much fun and talking to so many different people and just understanding so much about other people and their ways of life and stuff and i just think you know it's so important and i just think wow I'm really positive about the way the world is actually gonna go. I'm, I think before, like, I'm always talking like negative, 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 but I'm, for some reason I've just got, oh, I, for some reason I've just got a feeling within my womb that things are actually gonna be okay. Like even more than okay, they're gonna be fine. Like they're gonna be great. And this party girl just wants to say, I'm in the middle of my party right now but i just came downstairs so i could just have a bit of a reflection when i'm a bit inebriated i've done a lot of things today um except work out but <sighs> i will do it at some point i need to do a full body workout tomorrow but i feel like i'm gonna be hanging like a cunt so who knows if that's gonna happen oh god no i need to get it together because i've got shit to do but honestly do you know what it's my demons they really like i'm a party girl girls guys like i've been through really a lot of stuff in life like genuinely i've been through a lot in life like i feel like the average 50 year old has probably not been through as much shit as i've been through but saying that i also feel like loads of people have been through shit but i've been through a lot of stuff like and i've experienced a lot of things with people that are just fucked up and i just kind of accepted that that's kind of my life and but it's because i i'm the type of person that learns from stuff like that and i'm the type of person that like really draws goodness from a lot of bad things that could potentially happen to a human being um and that's why i've i have the life path that i do but saying that you know it's a weak point for me because 
if I have the choice to choose like escapism versus sometimes like facing my books or facing life I more time I've picked escapism but saying that I've kind of made myself so it's like even when I'm an escapist I'm working or I'm doing something I'm understanding I'm always like on the ball <sighs> and I get that from my dad cool guy if I see him I'm gonna punch him I'm joking I'm not joking um <laughs> but yeah this is life like we're all human beings like we just need to understand that and like, I'm different from everybody else so like, I'm nobody else is Oluwatimilei Maryam McEwen I'm telling you that for a fat no cap um so it's like I can't really hold myself to the standard other people hold themselves to no one's had my life like and that's okay and like just because other people do stuff a certain way doesn't mean that you're a bad person if you do stuff another way and I think I really struggle with that sometimes like I feel like I'm a bad person sometimes because I live my life in like a conventional unconventional way but sometimes I think I get like I get that from my family like feeling like I'm a bad person because I just like to have a lot of fun but just because I'm having fun doesn't mean I'm work I'm not working and I think you know my family found that out when I was doing my GCSEs everyone like never no one ever saw me like do like I was getting into I was I got suspended in the middle of my GCSEs and I still managed to get the best motherfucking GCSEs out of all my mom's kids and I did really really well I did really super well but I just I just don't think the same as everyone else. I don't I have the same values as everyone else. I don't want to do this normal thing of, you know, going to uni, getting a job, get married, have kids, whatever, because it doesn't make sense. I've realized that that does not make sense for the human being. Like we should be allowed to just do what we want. Like it's so weird. Like we've got free will in this life, but the system makes it so that we actually don't have free will like we're just doing the will of the people the organizers that's what i'm gonna call them the organizers because really you can't pinpoint who it is that is the the key person that started this like oppressive system right now because it probably started years and years and it did start years and years and years and years ago and um naturally i'm the type of person that believes like you can't judge people really that much because we're all products of our environment so to a certain extent yeah when i speak about the organizers i kind of understand a bit um the organizers mentality because it's like when you're used to getting something like i notice it with myself sometimes with my <sighs> subby abuse like if i have a lot of something I'm more likely to do a lot of that thing but like if I don't have a lot of it I just want more like you just naturally once you have a taste of something you just want more and more and more and that's the same with money power all of that like so I get it but the same way like people who like it's, it needs people need healing people need to understand that you don't need excess like what is it that you're trying to fill with all of this excess like people shouldn't be allowed well not even be allowed but people in their minds they shouldn't be trained to want to be a like a billion a massive billionaire a massive millionaire a narcissist basically be someone who uses power against other people why can't we just be like all happy like why can't we all just have enough like having enough is enough why can't like i would rather have enough and have a fulfilling life with people around me where it's like there's no weird power dynamic where i don't feel like oh, i'm above somebody else or they're above me or i have to like panda to that is it panda panda to them or they have to panda to me i just want to be on the same level as everyone like if i decide i want to work hard um super hard for something i should be rewarded for that if i decide that i don't want to work super hard for something i like i should still be rewarded but at a lesser level do you see what i mean and it's like 
even I was thinking about the taxation issue. Sometimes I think like about the organizers and I think about people who actually make it from like, they started with nothing and they make something of their lives. And it's like, even the organizers, they F them and they make it hard for them to even be on the same level as where they started from. Cause you know, once you get to a level, it's like you're still taxed ridiculously for no reason. And it's like you worked hard to get to that level. You're providing jobs for people. Once you reach a certain level, you're providing jobs for people. Da, 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 da. You're, you're technically giving back, like whether you like it or not. And then they tax those kind of people ridiculously. So they feel like they don't want to be generous to, you know, the people that started from where they started from. And that's fucked up. And it's like we shouldn't. We shouldn't want a system that's like that, really. In the holy books, it says 10%, 10% of everyone's earnings. Everyone will earn a different type of thing. Do you know, some, some people, they have skills that are a lot of more people need or are a lot more valuable. Like people, it's so like complex, but it's so very simple. Like, sorry, my housemates are speaking. I'm, I'm at a party right now, but I've just decided to come and just speak the stuff that on my mind, but um yeah <sighs> again it's just like people should be able to work hard and do a lot of things and be successful and should people should be able to say that look i'm actually like going through something right now i need some time to myself like people should be allowed to have their time and not have some ridiculous consequence behind it like and that's on god like that's all facts no cap bro and that's basically what I wanted to just get across in this video and being the party girl that I am I'm partying right now but while I'm partying I'm also thinking of all the all the important stuff in this world that needs to be done because even like oh, I, I did something today and it's like I had an epiphany I just felt like so at one with the source and I was like fuck I'm an alien or something like like it was so weird like everyone started laughing at me but i was like nah like what i'm feeling right now feels hi one sec i'm gonna be two seconds is it just, is she... she's not oh is it just you? Are you okay? yeah okay all right i'll be up in like four minutes okay all right see you um, that's my housemate. She's such a sweet. It's her birthday today. That's why we're getting lit. Um, but uh, what I was saying was that I just felt like, fuck, I'm so like at one with this. I feel so good right now. Like what I feel when I'm normal, this is unnatural. Like, and it's not even, and it's so weird because a lot of people that do things, yeah, they do a lot. Of, they turn to these things because they've been through a lot of like sad stuff in life and they've been through a lot of like trauma, like just things. That's why people become i don't say addicts but you know they become a bit healability like and you know no i i do have an addictive nature i can't lie i do suffer from a lot of addictions and you know addictions can range from like illicit drugs to you know soft drugs to stuff like alcohol nicotine fast food tv escapism basically and <sighs> for me it's like i feel like a lot of people that do those kind of things um, they've experienced all kinds of like their empaths and they feel they feel you know they feel everything that's going on and that's what makes them turn to these things that make them feel almost like at the natural frequency that they should be feeling which is love and it's just like and gratitude and it's just like I don't know how long I can go you know being you know not wanting to just off myself off on a on a trip like bro this like, is what like people like me who actually want good for the world like this is how we're feeling like it actually feels like hell to be here and it's because so many people act as if like we're living in something that's okay and we're really not like at all and it makes me sad sometimes but again like there's a reason that you know we've got things like social media we've got stuff like i can sit here and chat all my shit to people that want to listen we've got there's a reason that all of this stuff is going on and i think and just 
I just think everyone just needs to have a little jig wake up and I do like right now you know I'm inebriated so inebriated inebriated something whatever I'm bevved um it feels like yeah I'm feeling good about life and you know I'm feeling positive but when I wake up in the morning am I gonna feel like that not unless people start being engaged in life so minanua minanua but anyway i hope everyone's all right i hope everyone's doing good i hope you know if you're like me and you know you get a bit sad sometimes and you turn to substances i hope that you know things get better and better for you uh i'm reading this book currently called overcoming addiction by <sighs> let me find it <laughs> oh shit it's called it's by corinne sweet and it's a really good book and i've been really enjoying it i meant to give it to my mom um because i think a lot of people think they're not addicts to things and they actually are <sighs> my nose is itchy um but my nose do you know what i've noticed my nose is always itchy when i'm recording it's never itchy any other time but when i'm recording something it wants to make me look like a cokehead anyway there's nothing wrong with being a cokehead but um yeah that's the book i'm currently reading i'm actually on let me just tell you what chapter i'm on i made myself a little bookmark it's so cute i'm on chapter 10 meeting your emotional needs that's the bookmark i made um so yeah i need to read about meeting my emotional needs because i don't do that and i treat myself really really badly especially when it comes to how i feel but yeah anyway i'm gonna go now it's my housemate's birthday so i need to celebrate with her but that's what i just wanted to say to you guys anyway love you bye i just want to just like have my party life is the word it is yeah Guys, one thing I will say though, um, and during my drunken fiascos, I haven't missed any men, which is really good. Like, I feel like when I'm drunk, I just get like, oh, where is my boyfriend? And I haven't been like that, and um, I feel like that's like. A level of maturity that I'm reaching. I just feel happy. I just feel happy. I'm just happy. My fingers this I don't know how I burnt my finger yesterday. <sighs> I've got a scratch on my arm. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I remember everything from last night, but <laughs> For some reason, I just feel riggedy, 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 wrecked. I used to go get my food from the microwave. I made loads of friends yesterday. I always make loads of friends, but... You know, yesterday, I had some nice conversations. Yeah, I just loved it. Sometimes I feel like I'm Oprah Winfrey. I meant to tweet that yesterday. I did a tweet a thon yesterday, a midnight one. It was great. I wasn't tweeting too much shit, but just happy shit. Anyway, let me. I look like. I don't know why my hair's doing whatever it's doing right now, but anyway, we'll just keep it like that. This is a side light. Anyway. Like, bro, get it together, girl. Like, seriously, I don't even like any of the footage that I've done. I feel like I feel like shit. I look like shit. I feel like I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. I feel like, you know, the pressure I'm putting my, on myself for my YouTube career is just, you know, it's getting a lot now. It's getting a lot. I get about one or two messages every 10 days. It's hard. It's hard for me to cope. It is.